The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 video. And guys, the last couple of days have been just kind of me ranting on some various different topics. Today though, we're back to the regular, regularly scheduled programming. And the first thing that I want to talk about is this brand new title update or patch that they put out today. So when you log on to the game, you're going to see this screen pop up. It's going to tell you some of the basic stuff that has been updated here. doesn't go over everything, but some of the stuff that they have on here is going to be huge improvements to the game. Um, we're talking about fatigue, dropped passes, um, outside defenders playing the run better, that kind of stuff. So hopefully we're going to see less overpowered runs to the outside specifically things like the stretches potentially maybe like the um the power g things like that all of that stuff should be less effective i hope at least we'll see what ends up actually happening but some of the other things here that they've added that i think are extremely important to go over and there are other things in other game modes as well but i want to focus on mutt because that's the game mode that i think most of you guys are still playing um if not you know draft champions and salary cap but these things still kind of are affected by that um the first thing is the batch add to set functionality now i actually haven't had the ability to go in and take a look at this yet but i'm really interested in it so i'm about to go do that right now see if anything pops up when i get into the screen here um new rewards for gridiron loyalty okay so Let's go over here to sets first. Oh, one other thing. Notice something here. I don't know if you guys have seen, but if you had like a bunch of packs saved up in the past, they actually used to say zero here. When it said unopened packs, it used to say zero packs, even though you would have like 20 things in here, but they actually fixed that. Now, that's a super minor thing, but it's nice to still know that this kind of stuff is being fixed. Uh, so I do still have, let's see here, an elite player pack. Uh, I have a whole bunch of stuff to open up, so that's cool. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know, man. You guys should let me know in the comment section below because I'm going to be posting this video today. Should I upload uh, or should I do these packs? Should I open up or at least some of these packs today to try and get like Big Ben, for example? Or should I wait for this weekend? I got to hear from you guys. What do you think I should do regarding that? But, all right. Let's go in here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I got the, the all pro pack. Okay. Let's get out of this junk. Okay. That's still weird how that pops up just randomly after you've been in a menu. But anyway, okay, let's see here. So I don't know exactly how we have to do it here. It kind of seems like, uh, can you, no, you can't do it like this. You can't go through your binder, it doesn't look like. Because even if you mark them, the only option is to quick sell them. So what we have to do is we have to go into some sort of set here. So, all right, guys, so here's what's going to happen. When you actually take a look at the uh, Team Heroes, for example, you're going to go in here and click on Michael Floyd because I know I have multiple of him. Now what's going to happen is that you're going to see a screen pop up here with uh, add any gold player. Now what you can actually do here is that you can actually press the triangle button instead of the X button. You see how at the bottom it says mark or unmark? So basically what I have to do here is I have to click a couple of times here and it's going to allow me to click up to 100 cards at a time. So that's actually pretty damn good. I was expecting it to only be like 10 or so. So you go ahead and click that and then you press X and then it's going to allow you to actually uh, click on the players that you might have for the set. So for example, in this case, I have a Michael Floyd or a Chandler Jones that I can put into here. So all I have to do then is actually click triangle on each of those players now and then boom. I can add to set. So I can do this, like, for example, for silver players as well. And I can, you know, highlight all of them if I wanted to. I don't think I have this many silver players, but um, highlight all of them. And then it's going to allow me to go in, like I said, and click triangle on it again. In this case, I only have one of the players, but um, you can click triangle. You see how it changes the icon to an X button? or to an X button, excuse me, to a check mark, instead of like what it normally would do, which is just you would press X and then you have to do each one individually. This is gonna save us a ton of time when you're doing sets, like a ton of time. You can complete the sets now extremely quickly versus having to do it manually each and every time. That is actually a really nice improvement. It's something we have been asking for since, I know I've been asking for it since Madden 25. So the fact that it's finally in the game, I am so happy, very, very happy about that. So uh, I have to give 
EA, big props on that, man, for listening to the community and actually, uh, you know, getting stuff done that we really wanted done. I think this is a major, major improvement. Um, it's going to be very, very convenient to do these sets. Like, watch how quickly I'm able to do this now. So normally it would take me a really long time to go in here and do this. And it's almost like it's something I'm going to have to train my mind to do. But look how quickly I was able to add those players to that set. I would have never been able to do that. We would have been sitting here talking for another 15 minutes about this one topic. So that is, I think, maybe the biggest improvement for Mutt specifically. And uh, honestly, man, like that is a huge, huge, huge thing. I am very, very happy that they added that to the game. Um, a couple of other small things that uh, that were mentioned as far as things that were improved in this game right now. Um, one of the things that I wanted to point out that I was told about, I don't think they actually even had it on the uh on the blog or anything like that and by the way guys i am going to leave a link to the blog uh in the description below so you can go check out what all the specific notes were for this patch uh, but i didn't think i didn't see anything regarding this but uh let's see here uh no i don't have let's see here limited time so yeah this is a good example of it remember how it used to say like limited time and it would maybe say you've done like two of seven of the limited time or you know five of seven or zero of seven but you were never over the total number well you guys know there are obviously limited edition solos that you know come out of the game pretty quickly they might only be in there for a day or two well now you can actually see how many of those you have done i'm not sure that i particularly love this because it's a little bit confusing <laughs> because, uh, you know, like it's saying I have 57 of seven done, which means I have to go in here and actually look and physically see which ones I haven't done. So I actually haven't done any of these that are up right now, team of the week, milestones or the Gatorade challenge. So this number on the, on the main screen here doesn't actually give me a good indication of how many solos I still can do within that given uh, set, at least within the limited editions. And I'm sure there are going to be others like, yeah, for example, Gauntlet. Some of the Gauntlet ones have expired. So I've actually done more than the amount that it's saying that I can do. So 60 is the total amount that you can currently do. So if you go in here, you're going to see that there are 60 total Gauntlets, 20 of each of these. But uh, I already did the other previous 60 as well. So I've done 18 of this one, and I've done 60 of the previous gauntlet. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense anyway. Um, it's kind of confusing, but, uh, you know, it's an improvement, I think, overall, because they're actually giving away, if you guys didn't know this, they actually have, um, you know, little rewards for if you do a certain number of solo challenges. So if you get to, I think it's 500 total solo challenges, you actually get a Devin McCordy. I believe it's Devin McCordy anyway. I'm trying to remember. I think it's a Devin McCordy card, though. That's a pretty nice card. I think it's like 90 overall or something. Um, so definitely uh, something to consider if you're a solo challenge grinder. But the nice thing is, is now you actually know how many you've done. So you can just add up these numbers here, and that's going to give you a good indication of how many total solo challenges you've done. Now, I don't know if there are any other rewards for like a thousand or anything like that, or if they're going to be adding anything down the road. But again, this is kind of an improvement that'll help you out a little bit on that aspect of things. Um, a couple other things that I was told is that uh, when you go into a solo challenge, when you actually complete, or if you like fail the solo challenge, for example, it's not going to make you actually, uh, you know, go in and, and press start and then restart the solo challenge. It's going to be a lot easier to restart the solo challenge. I actually didn't really have an issue with this, but apparently they made it a little bit easier. Um, a couple other things. It looks like they made some uh, chemistry art modifications, which I do don't really know what that means to be completely honest with you so what i want to do is actually go in here and see if i can find the uh let's see here let's find the todd Gurley because i know that one has an interesting chemistry we've talked about that in the past uh same thing as like the Lashawn mccoy that came out so let's see if we can find uh the high overall todd Gurley. let's see here overall Gurley, and of course there's only the 85s up of course there are so Let's see here. Let, I know that, like I said, the McCoy had it as well. I want to see the specific chemistries that it had. I, I really haven't paid too much attention to what the chemistries are. Oh, I think that they actually just made it bigger. So if you look at the E, I think that's actually bigger than it used to be, if that makes sense. Um, and so, yeah, on the card art, I guess, like in the small menu like this, you can, you know, kind of pick out specifically what that chemistry is. So in this case, it's the energizer chemistry. Um, if you go back and look here, uh, yeah, there it is. So uh, I don't have it, obviously, but, you know, there you go. 
That's that's an example of what it would look like. So that's another thing. I guess it's just better for when you're scrolling through and trying to find players. Um, the other things that they improved, this one I think is actually kind of a major one. For solo challenges, they actually changed the game speed back to what the normal is. Previously, it was actually on slow, and I don't know why. <laughs> like That makes absolutely no sense, but if you've ever seen that your running back specifically will be really, really slow when he's getting the ball out of the backfield, on even on rookie and pro solo challenges, I think it was actually specific to those two your players would be extraordinarily slow out of the backfield, and it would cause things to actually be way more difficult than they should be on even the rookie and the pro levels. So they changed that as well. So all of that stuff, we've seen a ton of updates today, and I actually think that we're seeing some major improvements here, specifically for Madden Ultimate Team. A um, couple other things that I just wanted to point out real, real quickly uh, there are some nice improvements that they made gameplay-wise that I think will be some significant changes here in Madden. Now, I don't know if everything's been fixed. It sounds like there's still a swerve glitch, and if you look that up on YouTube, if you type in wide receiver swerve glitch Madden 17, you'll probably come across a video of Volterax kind of actually, you know, crushing T-Raw with this really cheesy move that he does with his wide receiver. It's basically, it's really similar to face catching in previous years of Madden. Uh, back when it was, I don't know, I think Madden 25, maybe Madden 15 had it. I'm trying to remember specifically, but um, it was definitely OP back then. Basically, what you do is when you throw the ball, you user click on it, and then you swerve out of the way, and then go back in at the last second. What it does is it kind of sucks the defender out of the play, and then you can hit him with a rat catch and really pick up some huge yardage. And they're really top players are actually kind of exploiting this right now. Now, I actually did get into a direct message conversation with Rex, the head developer at EA, or I guess I shouldn't call him the head developer, but um, he's in charge of basically gameplay updates for Madden. So uh, I asked him about this after today's patch came out when I heard that that wasn't updated. And he said that it's something that they're aware of and it's something that they're working on. There might be ways to actually counter it and they might in the meantime put out a video or something like that. But, uh, you know, that's something to consider, guys, that, that that one thing still hasn't been fixed. But it is something that they're aware of. It sounds like it's going to be fixed. And I think that if you're a top player, I actually would recommend not relying on that right now because it sounds like it's going to be going away. So uh, if you're actually trying to compete for the money, I would not get used to using that because I don't think it's going to be there when they actually have the tournament. So. You know, just something to consider regarding that. A um, couple other things. They did also decrease the amounts that your wide receivers will drop wide open passes, which is nice. Uh, apparently, there was a strip ball exploit, which I didn't know anything about. But uh, apparently that was causing some problems for people. Uh, there were some run game updates. We talked about that specifically with the players playing the outside runs, the defensive players. They will stop those a little bit more. Couple other things, they did make some differences to the nano de detection system as well. Uh, you guys that have uh, seen my videos in the past, you might have seen me reference that before, but basically the nano detection system within Madden 17 will actually, uh, it'll stop defensive players from shooting through gaps specifically and getting right to the quarterback. It'll like pause them for a second. And so they made some different, uh, they made some changes to that. Specifically, one of the things that they did was they actually disabled it entirely for games against the computer. Now, I actually think that that will work on solo challenges as well. So if you want to send nano blitzes, I think you can do that still within solo challenges at least. But obviously, just like I said before regarding the swerve glitch, you probably don't want to rely on that for your tournament games if you're trying to be a competitive player. So uh, that and then another thing. If you guys haven't seen this before, uh, I know other people have put out videos on it. I didn't because I didn't want it to be a, a rampant thing in the community. And I knew for a fact that uh, people were, uh, you know, working on the fix for this. Basically, in the past, you could actually click the X button when you were doing a kick. And uh, if you kicked it poorly, you could just hold the X button after or on, on uh, Xbox, the A button. Um, you could actually just hold it down and you would take a delay of game rather than missing the field goal. But now they actually fixed that, so that's not an issue anymore. Uh, a couple other things regarding the, the kicking. They actually made it so that the ice the kicker, kicker functionality is working in all situations. Sometimes it would randomly not work. So uh, that's good, I guess, if they really want to have that in the game. I still question whether I want that in the game because I just I think that if it's a pressure kick, 
you kind of have the pressure on you as a user to make it anyway. So uh, I'm not really sure why they would need to add an additional thing to make it even more difficult. But um, and then also the kick meter accuracy was increased on all pro and all Madden specifically, which I think is actually going to make some improvements for when you're playing head to head, whether it be on salary cap or draft champions or mutt, because that is actually played on the all pro game level. So uh, if they made the accuracy easier, if they made the little bar easier to kick, uh, it's going to be, I think, a little bit easier to kick those field goals. So you should see fewer extra points missed, field goals missed, things like that. So all of those things. Oh, one last thing. Uh, they did also decrease the nearby player, quote unquote, penalty for defender interception. So it basically makes it so that your defender can get interceptions easier if there are other players nearby. So a uh, couple of nice improvements there regarding gameplay. Obviously, a ton of really great things for Mutt. So I have to say, I haven't played the game yet since they put out the patch, so I don't know if any other things got broken because of this patch, and that's happened in the past, so, uh, you know, it is what it is regarding that, but overall, I have to say, I'm impressed, man. I'm happy with these updates. I think that they're really actually listening to the community on this stuff, and I know I've been harsh on EA over the past couple of days, and a lot of it's been tongue-in-cheek, but... I really, really impressed and impressed with what they've done here in the game over the past day or so uh, with this update. I think this is going to be a great step in the right direction. We've got a ton of new solos to do, so they're trying. You know, we'll see what happens here. We'll see if there are, are terrible things that come because of this. But on the surface, I'm really, really happy about it. I want to hear from you guys, though. You got to let me know in the comments section below. Are you happy with these improvements? Do you think they're headed in the right direction or are you still pissed off? Let me know in the comments section below, guys. Thanks so much for the support. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you learned something. If you did, do me a quick favor and drop a like on the video, please. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have any other questions regarding the patch, I can try and get in contact with the developer if you'd like. So uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have specific questions regarding the patches. And I will try and get that information answered for you guys in future videos or in the comment section itself. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys again soon.